Oh, I don't even remember where I am in getting over it. The G could stand for glib. <laughs> well, it doesn't, but it could, I suppose. Ah. Hoping I'm up by the slide at least. Yeah, okay, good. So I'm up near the slide. Both good and bad. Good because it means that I'm gregarious? Rumpy? No, it does not stand for those things. Ah, at least I'm not on the ground is what I was going to say. At least I'm not before... Uh, a chimney. Anyway, oh, no, that was that was very much not enough of not doing, not enough of a. No. Okay. Oh. Well, that would have been enough to um, the wheelbarrow, which then I can use to get up to the break. <clears throat> See, like that. Now I'm on the rake. I kind of want to be a little further back on the rake, though. Now, this is kind of like the stuff that was at the beginning where um, I have my Giovanni. No, <laughs> don't fall, especially in this area. Yes, especially in this area. I don't want to fall. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this next jump is a little difficult, but hey, I made it. Uh, what I was going to say is, th I think that, that that area there, the slide area, is kind of like the beginning because I've been doing it just sort of flailing my way up. <laughs> I need to bribe Laurel somehow. When she tells, if, if you do uh, bribe her and she does say what it stands for, probably won't believe her at first. Ooh. Okay, so this is where I want to be to launch myself towards the boxes. There. All right, and I can tell I was doing weird things with my mouth and my face. Uh, <clears throat> gigantic, no. Because of the torso. Well, they wouldn't have named me that as a baby. Okay, the G in Kevin G. Austin, yes. Is that what's being discussed? Yes, that is what is being discussed, the G, what it stands for. <laughs> it's the truth, it stands for Omar. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't believe it. <clears throat> anyway. So oh, here I am on the boxes again. <laughs> ah, ah. Well, the, the good thing is that, you know, if you fall here, you don't actually fall that far. But I would really like to get up past the boxes again sometime. I mean, I want to get to the furniture soon. Oh, whoa. Ah, so that was good. That worked sort of how I wanted it to work. I was able to get my hammer onto the these boxes, and uh, so. Oh no! Set down on the box. Well, that's kind of there. Oh no! That yes. Yes, there, that's what I wanted. <laughs> How does a G turn into an O? 
So, my grandfather's name was Omar Austin. Uh, but as a child, uh, people kept calling him Homer. Did not like that. So, he, he decided to go with Glenn as his name. Everybody knew him as Glenn. Until I was in my late teens, I didn't even know his real name was Omar. <laughs> Anyway, so the G in my name stands for him, my grandfather Omar, who went by Glenn. <laughs> um, anyway, so yes, the G stands for Omar. But it is the first letter of Glenn. Just happens to be there because that's what my... My grandfather went by. It wasn't his actual first name. Um, yeah, he was named uh, Omar. There's a there was like a, a seed company. Uh, they they made uh, seeds for farmers to plant, and uh, his parents saw that on a bag of of corn. I think it was uh, seed corn, and they liked it, but it caused him. Uh, grief, I guess. I, not really grief, but it, it he, he just didn't like being called Homer. <laughs> it wasn't his name, so that sort of makes sense that he wouldn't want to be called it. I, I, yeah, this, this jump, I don't know about this jump. I, and once again, though, if I fall here, it's not a big deal. I just fall down a little bit. I have to go back up the slide again, which I think I'm getting the hang of the slide, at least. No. She smiled in defeat with unconquerable eyes. Atticus. Weird story, but a nice Kevin fact. Yes. Anyway. So back to the slide. The only problem with the slide now seems to be that um, <laughs> I have a chance of falling down past the concrete barrier. <laughs> When I am in this section, that is the one big, big, big problem. Back up close. Oh. Actually, yeah. So if I do this slowly, let's see how well it's, it works doing it slowly. I can lower myself onto here. I mean, relatively slowly. Back here again. Showing patience. <laughs> Scraping. Then flapping and snagging. Yeah, shut up, Bennett. Um, so yes, I can launch myself off the lower part of the wheelbarrow and then grab the rake fairly easily here. There. So that jump is pretty easy. I don't want to be quite that high up on the rake, but there, that's better. And then, oh, I will be getting this down because <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time in here. So just move myself up on top of the umbrella and then use the wheelbarrow. I don't get why not just let go of the hammer and drag yourself up <laughs> using your hands. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a key bind. There's no let go of the hammer key. And have you seen how he looks at that hammer sometime? He's obviously in love with the hammer. Yeah, all right. See, now I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of this part, at least somewhat. Sort of the way that I have uh, gotten the hang of the part all the way up to the chimney. Ah, there should be. <laughs> well, <laughs> the hammer is what the red girder is to you. Yes. It's his favorite thing in the world, that hammer. Oh, lift yourself over there. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I am getting the hang of the slide area. Got a, a plan in place that works. Good. And I might even be getting okay at um, 
the boxes here. The way he has that hammer held looks really weird. Anyway, if I make it again this time, maybe I will declare that I'm not too bad at this particular jump. All I need to do is do this, and then... Oh, well, that didn't work. To learn for what, please resume climbing. <laughs> Rob Dubbin. <laughs> Rob Dubbin. There's probably some random dude that Bennett thought he knew. <laughs> Maybe one of the testers. I have a theory that the dude and all his tools weigh almost nothing. Um... Yeah, that's possible. The dude, his hammer, the cauldron that he's in. Well, I think there's stuff in the boxes. I think that's why they aren't getting deformed. All right. On to, up on the umbrella. And then use... the wheelbarrow to get up to the yeah that seems to be not too bad and I mean that wasn't super easy because the hammer seems to want to slip no wants wants to slip yeah it's like you want want to slide down the slide <laughs> how how interesting that a slide would make you want to slide. Um, anyway, so yeah, I think I'm getting better at that. I swear, I can just barely hear, hear the sound of children playing, unless that's just what the wind sounds like up here. Anyway, though they are marked fragile, so you would think, I mean, some of them are, you would think that, that some of them would, would get crushed with me in my cauldron coming crashing down on top of them. So I just want to get down, all that down here. <laughs> Look, I'm perched on an upraised flap of a box. I must be, I must weigh something like a feather. <laughs> yes. Maybe your theory is correct. Maybe I don't weigh much. Come on. Let's see if I can do it this time. I want to be a little further over. There, that's where I kind of want to be. I have a theory that Kevin G. Austin is an elitist. I think all of my theories are correct. Well, that, that theory is incorrect. I am not an elitist. I do not believe I am better than people, better than other people. I'm just me. Just a dude. All right, we're going to try this again and see if we can make it. Oh, come on. No, you're supposed to strike it and then... Oh, wow. And the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. All right, Sand well... Earth must borrow it, <laughs> but has trouble enough of its own. Ella Weaver Wilcox. You know, that I did that new game, and now it's been a while since I did that new game. <laughs> Makes it so that Bennett doesn't want to ever shut up, apparently. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's about 10 minutes.